Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Manifest Tarot. This evening I'm having an evening reading. I don't know, there's something about reading in the evening that just, there's a different quality to the readings. So I am having an evening reading. I don't know if you can hear, but there's the evening cricket sonata out there. And in this reading, we are going to be looking at your self-concept in love. And to do this, I'm going to pick three piles from this oracle deck. So let's wake up the deck and we'll ask it for three cards for us. I feel like this one is our first card. Two more cards. This is the second one. One more. So let's look at these. Pile number one, yours is card number eight, Bath Call. Such a striking image. Let's see what you are. Pile number two, Theta of Venus. This is card number 25. Card number three, Dakini of Infinite Light. This is card number nine. How interesting, we have eight and nine. So I'm going to be back in a moment. I'm going to put some crystals on here for those of you who like to pick with crystals. I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back and we have our three crystals. For pile number one, it's a rose quartz in the shape of a heart. For pile number two, this is a raw amethyst in the shape of a raw amethyst. This is such a beautiful crystal and I know I always say that but this one's especially beautiful it just came out of the ground like this what a special crystal and then this for pile number three is a clear crystal in the shape of a heart so for those of you who would like to pick from the image, the, the words on the card, the numbers on the card, the numbers of the piles, the crystals. If you want to pick with those, great. I'm going to leave the timestamps below, of course. But for those of you who want to have a deep, the deeper meaning of the cards before you pick your pile, I'm going to now read from the guidebook. All right, so I'm going to start, of course, with pile number one. This is card eight. Eschew complicated explanations as you seek the simplicity of the deepest truth of your heart. Gently but firmly cast aside that which does not resonate as being true for your heart. Focus upon and speak from a higher spiritual perspective. All prayers are answered at the perfect time and in the perfect way. You have a powerful voice which can foster healing and wisdom on our planet. She's a divine oracle. When she whispers to your heart, you feel it is an inner knowing, a truth. So this looks like your inner, your inner voice, your inner higher self, your... Um, 
what Neville Goddard would call your own wonderful human imagination. That's what this sounds like, right? So, an oracle inside you. Let's look at number 25, Theta of Venus. This is for pile number two. Theta of Venus. Venus is our morning and evening star, the stellar goddess and guardian of transitional awareness and higher consciousness of the heart. So Venus was a the Roman version of the Greek god Aphrodite. She's the goddess of love and beauty, and she's also the, um, you know, the, 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 what do you call it? I'm sorry, the planet the second planet in our solar system, Venus. It's the morning and evening that, you know, that's visible in the morning and evening, that right as the sun goes down and comes up. So, theta is the narrow range between seven hertz and eight hertz. I don't know much about these healing, you know, these, these, these frequencies. I love the cards, uh, artwork, and these messages, but I'm not. Sh I don't know. I don't know much about the. I, I shouldn't say I don't resonate with them because that's too bad. That bad of a pun, but it says um, it looks like they're talking about state akin to sleep. During the state, you are conscious, yet your body is deeply relaxed. You see everyday realities through the inner spiritual eye and come to understand yourself and your life with a spiritual insight. So it sounds like. Just they're talking about state akin to sleep. Okay, so a loving state akin to sleep experience. So let's look at nine, Dakini of Infinite Light. Find the teachers and teachings which feel pure to your heart, but remember it is the inner truth of you that will ultimately set you free. Do not give your power away, but do trust in the greater guiding wisdom at work in all aspects of your life. Believe all problems can be resolved and a more graceful life experience is opening up for you now. A Dakini is a supernatural feminine being who inspires spiritual practice, guides one to actualize cities or spiritual abilities and teaches the inner path of awakening. She can be a demanding teacher requiring us to reflect upon the mystery she presents through our dreams, inspirations, and meditations, and then proceed to unravel them. As we do so, we develop our inner capacities and become stronger. Some Dakinis are fully enlightened, while other, whilst others are still in their process of awakening. How fascinating. Beings of lesser development may or may not have such helpful intentions. But even if they do, how can they show us the way when they themselves have yet to discover it? That is a good question. So it says it's connected with the rays of light from the sun, which you can see. So we have the sun and Venus here. How interesting. So with some of this information, hopefully this information will help you in your choice. So again, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, make your choice and I will, and um, I'm obviously I'm going to leave the timestamps below and I will see you in your reading. Hey, pile number one, welcome to this special evening reading for your self-concept in love. Your card is this Bath Cole card, number eight. And your crystal is this rose quartz in the shape of a heart. So I just wanted to let you know if you did not uh, watch the the part where I uh, read from the guidebook. This is a an oracle that kind of speaks within you, and so it's actually an inner knowing. It's like your inner voice. It's your inner wisdom. So very fascinating concept. So let's grab 
a couple oracle decks. We are, let's wake up the cards here. We're asking for cards for pile number one for their self-concept in love. So let's also take this oracle card, Yin. I'm sorry, this is the uh, spirit, uh, the spirit card. Yin, which is card number two. Let me show you. It'd be nice if I showed you, right? This is the Yin card. And then this Imagine, card number 20. And I'm going to take another couple oracle cards out of, oops, oh, whoa. <laughs> this, I'm going to take another couple oracle cards out of this deck. One more, and then I'll also take this spirit card. So your spirit card for this deck is the Queen of Swords with Circe. And then your first is the Ten of Pentacles with Tyche. This is, these are two very strong and very favorable cards. Let's see what this one is. The Five of Cups with Leaf. She is the, um, the goddess of forgetting. She, uh, there was a river by her name, uh, there's a river with her name. She's the goddess of the river in the underworld. And if you drink from that river, you, you know, the, the, the myth says if you drink from that river, once you're dead, as uh, you drink from that river, if you want to, um, oh my gosh, wait a minute. Is it remember or forget what happened? Hold on. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking to forget, but Nemesine is the, um, I was getting her, con uh, not confused, but I was just wondering if I had it right. So the Leith is the river that if you drink from it as a spirit in the under, in the Greek underworld, you, your spirit forgets everything that happened to it during its life. And the Nemesine, you, if you drink from that, then you remember. So, Wow. Pile number one, very powerful cards for your, um, your self-concept in love. So we are going to use two decks. I'm going to pull cards from this deck, and then we're going to pull a second set for the clarifier for the cards from this deck. So we'll put this one aside for now. I'm going to pull from this deck. Wake up the cards. So let's have some cards for pile number one. Let's have some cards for pile number one. Pile number one. Self-concept in love. And both of them want to come out. So let's put this aside. And let's see what we have for you, pile number one. The star card. The page of wands. Page of Cups. Oh, both of them together. The mentor, this is um, the Hierophant. Is the mentor is um, the Hierophant is called the mentor in this deck. Wow, the lover's card in a love reading, a self-concept in love reading. The King of Wands. 
three strong cards for you, pile number one. And then we have the temperance card. Pile number one, such strong cards here. So let's see. Yeah, you don't have any um, numbered cards. It's all court cards and major arcana. So once again, I've run out of room. Let me <laughs> let me see how I can um, rearrange these so you can see everything. I'll be right back. All right, pile number one. This is such a fascinating spread. Um, you don't have any pentacles and you only have one swords card, this queen of swords. The rest are cups and wands and And they're, and they're all, um, on, on your main spread, they're all court cards and major arcana. There's two um, numbered cards in your suit cards, in your um, oracle cards. So what a fascinating thing. It's like you have... You know, it's it's concentrating on your feelings and your wants and your needs. So, pile number one, we have we just have so much going on. I am. I'm seeing a tale of two things for your self-concept. Pile number one. I'm seeing a very adventurous free spirit who wants to imagine, who wants to go out and get everything. Oh, you do have a coin. I'm oh, sorry. You do have a pentacle. You do have a pentacle here, but not in your uh, not in your main spread at all. It's all, it's all cups and wands. So you have a sword and a and a and a pentacle, up, in your um, in your oracle cards. So y there's something that I'm seeing, that is, it's like a dual thing. I'm not sure if you're. Like your this is your younger self or your and your older self and your in your current self. I don't know if this is a like how you feel if, if sometimes you feel one way, sometimes you feel another way. I don't know if this is you are one way and you want to be the other way. I don't know if you're one way and you see your partner or potential partner the other way, but I see two different things. One is an adventurous person who's just straight up open with her heart completely ready for love and a second person who is um very traditional step by step you know, not letting your emotions run away with you, being circumspect, looking before you leap into love or whatever it is. And and with this card, you chose this card and it is like your subconscious. It's like your inner, your inner human, your, your wonderful human imagination as, uh, as Neville Goddard would say, there's something inside you that's that's telling you that it's your inner oracle that's telling you who the real you is, pile number one. And only you can tell you what that, who you are. But I'm seeing this dual, this dual energy, which is so interesting, pile number one. I'm going to pull the, the clarifying cards here. Let's wake up the deck and then tell it, hey, hey deck, we are looking at pile number one's 
self-concept in love. Pile number one would like to know. about their self-concept in love. We are looking at pile number one's self-concept in love. Here we go. I'll put that aside in case we want it again. So for the star card, we have the Eight of Wands. Hmm. Looking, this is be a very much of a, like being in your own power. And the Eight of Wands is a like forward movement. Just from this col uh, card combination right now, I'm thinking that this, well, let's see. Hold on. The Page of Wands gets the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is hard work just about to be harvested. Pile number one. Let's see what this is. This is the Page of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. And you know what this is. This is the love. This is the romantic love card. This is the card that you want to get in your um love reading so your self-concept in love is including a deep and beautiful a yearning for beautiful you are searching pile number one with this this is the clearest combination you are searching for the deepest most beautiful soul connection So let's see what this is. The mentor, you know, the mentor also is uh, symbolizing, one of its meanings is marriage and happy home life. And tradi it's tradition, it's, you know, um, uh, like being stable and happy home life and marriage. So let's see what this is. It's the five of cups another five of cups we have one we have, so there's two there's some regret here there's some looking back there's some regret even though all isn't lost there's some regret and, and some maybe telling yourself that it is lost pile number one so we have the lover's card the ace of pentacles some sort of new beginning in love the lover's card could symbolize choice but this is a self-concept in love reading so i'm straight up reading that as a love card you know the love meaning the king of wands we have the four of cups hmm pile number one this is so interesting and for the temperance card we have the three of wands so we have two eights right together we have forward movement and you know having just ready to harvest what you have worked so hard for pile number one and the star card is you are you know what your self-concept is in love right now as I, the clarifying cards have really helped me you are ready for love you're ready for love and you've done the hard work on your self-concept and you are ready for love pile number one there's no doubt in my mind so the lovers card this new beginning you're ready. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't necessarily mean new beginning with a new person. If you want a current love uh, relationship to become stronger, or if you want to rekindle something, that's also a new beginning, right? Of course, it's a new beginning. So
So pile number one, I want to really highlight this. We have this page of cups and this two of cups. The two of cups is the love, is the romantic love card, the symbolizing a romantic relationship. And this card is symbolizing just unbridled love and affection. If you see, he's got, let's put this down here, he's got hearts on his little doublet. He's got a love letter, a love letter on a scroll in his pocket. He's got wine. He's got flowers. He's got another love letter that this, that this I don't know, snail fox thing is going to <laughs> deliver for him. This is unbridled passion. This is just passion and love coming for you. From, I mean, I'm not sorry, coming from you, coming from you. You are ready for love. And this Two of Cups is love. So pile number one, your self-concept is you are ready for love. And there's, there is some regret. There is some looking back, but it's so localized. It's so localized, it's interesting that this Five of Cups came up on the mentor because I feel like these two Five of Cups aren't really saying the same thing. This, this Five of Cups on the mentor, so the mentor is stability, the mentor is marriage, the mentor is tradition, the mentor is knowledge a keeper of knowledge and this five of cups is regret and giving up even before everything is lost <laughs> just giving up just letting the regret win instead of letting yourself win so there's something that you do regret from the past and it's made you in the past be like take a step back inside yourself and be more circumspect and not dare to unburden your heart, not dare to allow someone in, pile number one. Like that you are or were guarding your heart. You were guarding your heart, pile number one. But I feel like that's over now. Like this message is from the past and this over and that's over now you are in your power you are in your self-concept that you that you is working for you and you're ready you are ready there's so much forward movement there's so much vitality in this reading with the two pages you've done the work and now you're ready to reap the reward pile number one like this love this new love thing it's like you want you are ready to go so interesting. I want to point this out. This Five of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles. This is total and complete abundance. Pile number one. It's This is a wish fulfillment card, I have to say. I'm not sure if I said that before. And then we have the second Five of Cups, which is the same thing, which is regret, which is giving up even though all isn't lost. Preemptively giving up before before you have to. And not even before you have to, it's giving up even though you don't have to give up. Feeling hopeless, not giving up because you want to, but feeling so hopeless that you give up even though you shouldn't feel hopeless, even though all isn't lost. So the fact that they, ca that they came up together, it's like... It's like this queen of swords, this, this intellect, this intellect, this sharp intellect is what you need to split these in two, pile number one.
it's like this is needed to separate your your past regrets from all ev from getting everything that you could ever possibly want and this imagine card just imagine and get it and this yin card i mean i'm sorry but this yin card is straight up don't worry about the 3d just allow the 3d of the old these old things that might still be playing out in your 3d just ignore them if they aren't what you if they are what you want enjoy them if they aren't what you want ignore it that's what this card is telling us pile number one and i'm i'm seeing I'm wondering if you have things going on in your 3D that are kind of pulling you back into this Five of Cups energy, pulling you back into like having these bouts of doubt, having these bouts of regret, having these bouts of guarding your heart. And it's okay to remember, it's okay to have thoughts we don't have to have, oh, I'm happy and positive all the time. It's it's that we don't want to be sucked down into it. And we don't want to allow our old regrets to think, to, to, to allow us to think that we can't succeed at what we want to manifest. So I feel like these cards are telling us that you have the self-concept that you want already pile number one and it's your doubts that are make the only the only thing is you are allowing your doubts to make you feel like you sometimes that you aren't the person that you are that you are allowing your doubts and or the 3D things that are playing out that you don't want to maybe derail you or allow or, or, or fill you with these doubts, pile number one. And these cards are telling you that you are ready, that you are just standing in your power and that the only thing you have that could possibly derail you is your own doubts, which seem powerless which are not the, the you that you already are, pile number one. So now we come to these. This is such an interesting pairing here, this King of Wands and this Apathy. King of Wands is like the, the Look at how, like, look, I mean, this, this artwork is just telling you what this King of Wands is all about. It's just complete knowing that you are sitting in your power and you are able to just do anything you want. Look, he's sprinkling seeds in this little, I don't know, thing, this bird or this slug, I don't know what this is, little bird slug, I don't know. Magic is happening. Magic is happening. He's just trotting around in, on his little moss garden and sprinkling magic. And a flower or like some little tree is growing out of his head. He has a, a wand that's sprouting. Everything is beautiful in his world. He's personifying this magic here. And this Four of Cups is apathy, and not just apathy, but apathy, even though there's wonderment around you, even though you're being offered things, you're, you're still, you're closed off. So this is another thing about, that's like the mentor slash Hierophant, you know, it's the Hierophant card and this Five of Cups. It's allowing your past hurts to bring you back into the old self-concept pile number one these cards are telling you look you've worked enough you you are you understand yourself enough 
pile number one. You know, you know exactly what to do and nine out of 10 times you are doing it. And then that little bit you get sucked back into the old you makes you guard your heart, makes you not believe, makes you suffer even though you don't have to. Because this, this temperance card is saying, look, it's time for you to apply what you know. And you know, there's no indulging anymore. This is what this temperance card is telling you. There's no indulging anymore in what you know is not serving you anymore. These old memories, these old things that you had been doing that you had been allowing yourself to marinate in. In one of his lectures, Neville, <laughs> Neville uh, was saying, look, you know, you're, you're, he was saying, look, to the audience, look, you're having an argument with someone in your head, you know, and you, because he would always say, you know, you make your decision and then you live from that end. You make your decision, this is the person I want to be, and then you you live, you, you think from that. You think from that. So if you are in a, let's say you, your current love relationship is actually you have the relationship, you're in the relationship, but there's, you know, you, you, you've had fights in the past and you, you keep on going back to this one fight that you had with your partner and you keep replaying it in your head and you you are maybe creating some new things to say to them <laughs> to make them know exactly whatever you know whatever you know to continue the argument and replay it in your head and Neville says if you as soon as you realize you're thinking against the new um, story the new end stop it and he says but sometimes you will, you, he's talking to the audience, you will realize you are thinking against your, your um, manifestation, but you'll still keep going because it feels good. Because it's like, oh, I, I, it feels good. It feels therapeutic to tell them off. And, and that's what the cards are telling you. Don't do that. <laughs> They're straight out saying to you, pile number one, don't do that. All that's doing is perpetuating the old story, these old five of cups hurts. You know, they come up in pairs for a reason. Pile number one. This is this is this is you. Just there's nothing bad going on right now. Except in your mind. Pile number one. And you're envisioning, you envision, you envision the reality you want, pile number one, and you just go for it. This five of cups energy and the four of cups energy, this kind of regret, this apathy, this guarding of the heart, it's like one, one tenth of you right now pile number one but you don't have to give it any energy it's okay to have these negative thoughts pop up you can't stop thoughts you just have to let them go pa pa have them pass by they don't matter and you continue on because you have worked hard enough you are ready for love you're ready for the renewal or the new love or the renewal of love your new beginning, your love, your lover's card is including a new beginning. We can't be clearer than that, pile number one. The only thing is this five of cups and four of cups energy. And your cards are telling you, like your main oracle card is telling you, you know this, you already know this. Pile number one, your your inner self. You're just telling you you know exactly 
what you need to do and you want to do it and you are doing it. And so there's no stopping you. And you know what I'm seeing is that you just don't have to take the regrets seriously. When they come up, be like the water and just a lot, just like flow past it. Say that you have, use your yin energy. Say that you're, you're the river. Envision yourself as a river. You're flowing down. Your thoughts are flowing down. And then you come to a, 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 a big island in the middle of the river. What does the river do? Does it all stop and dam up? No, it just flows around it. And then you flow down and there's a, a log that has fallen in and it's blocking. So you just go around it. That's another, that's another, you know, regret, thought from the past, argument, remember, memory of an argument. And then you come to a peninsula um, and then you just go around it. Not peninsula, but, you know, like outcropping, whatever. Maybe somebody built a, a dam and you just, you as the water, you build up, you go, you go over it. It's just... There's just the, 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 the way of yin energy is just flowing past like water. And that's what you, you can imagine yourself as pile number one. When the, when the negative thoughts come up, you just think of it as a, a, a rock, a large rock or an island in the middle of the river, and you just flow right past it and you don't give it another thought. So that's what I see as your concept, self-concept and love, pile number one. There's tons of, there's your entire wish fulfillment card right here, pile number one. There is the queen of swords, your clarity of thinking that gets you what you want, pile number one. We have this temperance card, going for it, knowing what you want and going for it. Again, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same message. This is like just straight up. You know what you want, you're going for it. You have Lover's Card and New Beginning. You have Page of Cups, just unbridled love, and the love, the, lo the actual love card, the Two of Cups, romantic love. You have the Page of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, which is harvesting this energy and in this hard work. You have the star card, which is you sitting in your power and knowing what you are, as in your self-concept, and this eight of wands, which is forward movement, rapid forward movement. So pile number one, this is your self-concept and love, and I really hope you enjoyed this reading and I really know that you got a lot out of it because the messages couldn't be clearer and it's all so hopeful, not hopeful, it's just so positive and so like, who wouldn't want this? Lover's card, love card, unbridled passion cards, <laughs> and just a reminder that when the thoughts come up, you don't have to panic. You don't even have to engage. You just flow right by like a river. So pile number one, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future readings. And thank you so much for spending this time with me. I will see you soon. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome. This is your reading. This is the reading you manifested. This is your card, number 25, Theta of Venus. And you also chose this raw amethyst. So let us get into the reading. I am going to, first of all, pull some oracle cards. Let's shuffle the deck and say, we are looking for some 
Oracle cards for file number two. Wow, Unfinished Symphony, number 10. So this is your spirit card from this deck, Unfinished Sympathy, Sympathy, <laughs> Symphony, number 10. What an interesting artwork. Uh, what interesting artwork on this card. And you also got Higher Power with number four. Very similar artwork, isn't it, to your main card that you chose. And I'm going to pull a couple of cards from this deck to be more Oracle cards. And then we're also going to pull Oops, we're going to pull this to be your spirit card for this deck, the Five of Wands with Zealous. The Five of Wands. The Knight of Wands with Heracles. You might know him, it's just an alternate name for Hercules. The Page of Cups with Hebe. What a beautiful card. This artwork's amazing. The Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups and the Five of Wands. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to pull some cards from this. Well, here's your decks. I'm going to pull some cards from this deck, and then I'm going to pull some um, clarification cards for each card from this deck. So I'll put that on the side, and we will wake this deck up and ask for some cards for that's it for you pile number whoop, <laughs> pile number two the cards are lively pile number two wants some cards for their self-concept in love Pull a couple more. We'll put this aside in case we want more later. So let's see what we have. The Four of Cups. Six of Swords. The Ten of Wands. The Sun. Wow, what an interesting reading so far. Look at this frog. This frog's having the time of its life. The Eight of Swords. And Awakening, this is Judgment. All right. All right, give me a second. I'll be back in one second. I'm going to shift the cards over just a bit. Well, pile number two, I really see an Awakening for you. Pile number two. There's such a strong message of past pain and regret and effort and I feel like there has been quite a bit of feeling stuck all right so there's this there's this eight of swords the eight of swords is a card that signifies that a person is stuck 
in their mind that they're that they think that this situation has they have no way out of the situation but they do they just have to believe you know they just have to they just have to step away from the situation so this is such an interesting card it's not as clear with this artwork but um the person can just step away the person can just step away and and leave the situation the character in here does not have anything binding their legs so they can just leave but they feel like they are helpless and hopeless so pile number two it looks like you have really expended a lot of effort and you are this this to me pile number two you are and you got venus you got venus and you chose venus as your card you are ready for love but there's these four of cups six of swords ten of wands eight of swords lots of regret and apathy in the in your past pile number two there's lots of it all right i'm bringing these down you know what I'm going to do in this Five of Wands? I just want to say this Five of Wands is lots of strife with no benefit. There's like, you know when when you know when you ha when you have a when you have like a conflict but it's obvious that there's going to be a winner and a loser and you are like I have to win this <laughs> this conflict and you actually feel like it's it's productive to to enter into this conflict. This is completely opposite from this five of wands meaning five of wands means everybody's mucking around together to no purpose there's lots of fight there's lots of bruising and there's lots of bashing and whatever but no one's making any, any progress no side is winning so actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull the clarifying cards and i'm going to uh look at the four that I've pulled down first so that we can finish this story so that we can get the most out of these four cards. So this is the clarifying cards deck. We'll wake it up and ask for clarifying cards for all of these. Whoops. This one to come out like crazy. We want some clarifying cards for these these cards. This one wanted to come up for this one. Let's do a few more for the other two. Oh, we have two right here, so I will put these aside in case we want more. So we will keep those for afterward. Six of Pentacles. The, oh, you get your second just uh, judgment card. Very interesting. Linking these two sets of cards that I've drawn out here. We have the four of wands. And we have the two of pentacles very interesting this, this is such an interesting thing you see she she doesn't have a neck and her arms aren't her 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 head is not connected to the rest of her body how what an interesting artwork so we have how interesting do, do we have this pile number two so 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 interesting so we're gonna have to read the six of swords and um judgment with this these four cards and also with these two cards with these with these other three cards and the the two cards because that's too strong of a connection for us to ignore so So interesting. Let me look at this here. So 
this four of cups, which is regret. I'm sorry, not regret, apathy. The four of cups, which is this apathy. And the six of pentacles, which is abundance and actually sharing your abundance being so abundant that you're sharing it with others look at this little cat girl who has it's kind of funny because she has 10 mice here on strings well on tails so this apathy and the six of pentacles we have looks like we have we're seeing that you are ignoring your progress pile number two that's that's what I see I, I see that you're ignoring the progress not being ignoring like being apathetic being unimpressed by your own progress by your own transformation, pile number two, because this just judgment, I keep on calling judge, I'm sorry, this justice, I'm sorry, oh my god, sorry, it's judgment, but I keep on trying to call it justice, and then I, um, and then I called it judgment and thought it was wrong, so this is the judgment card, it's your second judgment card, and you have it with the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is telling us, pile number two, that you are leaving behind the old you. This is the old you that you are completely leaving behind and you are coming into the new you, pile number two. And it feels like your self-concept is that you might you might be thinking you're not ready but that that's not true you are not you're apathetic to how you have grown you are not apathetic you're 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 ignoring it you're ignoring it and you're not giving yourself the credit of being of allowing yourself to be who you are pile number to and so this is extremely interesting here that you've got this ten of wands that's this little character is so exhausted and he's working so hard and he's about to walk over this cliff it looks like the it looks like the the combination of a ten of wands and a, and a fool card this Ten of Wands has worked harder than he needs to because there's this ball and chain, right? So this Ten of Wands is has worked harder than he needs to. So I feel like this is you, pile number two. You've been working harder than you need to. Because the clarifying card for this is happiness and success in relationships and just being extremely fortunate in all your relationships, not just your love relationships. It's also any sort of like family or anything like that, pile number two. And then we have this Eight of Swords, where remember this is feeling like you're powerless, feeling like you're stuck, even though you're not, it's clear you're not. And then you have this two of pentacles, which is balance and learning and or knowing how to balance everything. So we, we have these strong, positive cards on all of these more negative cards. So I can't wait. We're going to look at these two. So we have the sun, which is an extremely powerful positive card and let's see what this is the six of swords wow pile number two you have like major 
um, there's reality and then there's how you're 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 like allowing yourself like there's reality as in of your self concept you're re you're so you're you're selling yourself short by like doubting yourself it looks like pile number two it's like so we have this judgment card and we have this three of pentacles how interesting i know what this means pile number two <laughs> you've got to work with yourself you've got to work with yourself how interesting every single one of these cards that is about apathy and not looking you know closing your eyes to the the good has Closing your eyes to the good has this card of abundance, so so abundant that you are giving, um, you, you're like donating to charity, basically. The Six of Swords, which is letting, is like leaving behind what you no longer need, has this judgment card where you are standing in your power and you are, have a, an awakening, you are, you are moving into new self, pile number two. And you have this Ten of Wands where you're just exhausted and you've been working harder than you need to to get what to get this victory, to, to get success, I should say. And then you have this Four of Wands, which is party time, beautiful relationships, success, and joy. And you have this Eight of Swords, which is feeling stuck, feeling helpless and hopeless, with the Two of Pentacles, which is exactly knowing how to balance everything keeping all of your plates spinning keeping all the balls in the air and then you have this sun card which is everything good everything wonderful everything being just so warm and happy getting everything you want with again the six of swords leaving behind what is no longer serving you so this is so interesting. Remember, I was going to pull this card, this set of cards down. So now you have two sixes of swords and two judgment cards. And what I'm seeing, pile number two, is that you are ready. You have been working with your new concept of self and love and your old concept of self and love. They've been kind of bashing heads inside you and what you're doing now is you are becoming your new self concept of self and you you've been working at it you've been you've been working and working and working at it. you've been making it harder on yourself than you needed to you're feeling you've been feeling like that's an unfinished symphony you know what i was wondering if this unfinished symphony was your relationship but no, this is you. This is you have been feeling like you yourself are an unfinished symphony, like you're not enough, like you haven't had everything. You, you haven't been. You haven't written the whole symphony of yourself, of your self concept. But pile number one, uh, two, you are ready. You are. You see this. Uh, higher power is you you are you and you are your higher power you're communicating with yourself you are you and you are the higher power with inside you this ju uh, judgment card this five of wands you remember what i was telling you we're gonna get to the judgment card in a minute hold on it's five of wands. Remember, I was telling you everybody's fighting to no purpose. This is you fighting yourself. Pile number two. So let me, well, I'm going to take these in a second here. But let me just, the, the, the two judgment cards. This, this is not called awakening for no reason. This is the, the judgment card. But in this deck, it's called Awakening. You did not get two judgment cards, which is transformation for, by mistake. You have this transformative, like, 
event that can happen like that for you, pile number two, and all you have to do is allow it because you have done the work, you have done all the affirmations, you have done all the scripting, you have done all the visualizations, you have done all the sats, you have done all of this stuff. You are ready, pile number two, and the only thing that is keeping you is you. Keeping you back is you because the Six of Swords, this is a super powerful and super, like, positive card for you. This is not a regret. This is, there's no regret here. This is saying goodbye to the old you and you don't want that anymore anyway. You don't want the old you anyway. Don't hang on to the old you. Don't hang on to anything about the old you anymore, pile number two. Just let it go. Just let it go. You don't need the, the old, the old, your old self-concept of love. This Knight of Wands and this Page of Cups. Knight of Wands is the fastest knight in the deck. We did not get this for, by like happenstance here, pile number two. You got the fastest knight in the deck because it's going to be immediate. If you want, if you want to change your self-concept of love to be the exact person that you want to be loved, adored, committed to, the, the woman who has it all, the woman who has the commitment, the woman who has the relationship, the woman who has everything. This is you and you, you can do it immediately, pile number two. You did not get the fastest night in the deck for nothing. This page of cups is just overflowing with love and affection and just brimming with the joy of making connections, brimming with the joy of, just the joy of love. Everything good, just brimming with enthusiasm. These are two of your oracle cards. These are your two, these are two of your oracle cards. And you know Heracles, aka Hercules, so strong, son of Zeus, this is you. He is you today, pile number two. You are not an unfinished symphony. You know exactly who you are. Venus, the woman who has everything. The woman who has everything you wanted. You are the sun. You are the judgment card. You are, your, you are the awakening. And you've worked so hard. And all you have to do now is accept it. You accept yourself. You accept your new self-concept exactly the way you want it. And this is you, pile number two. This is you. And this is your self-concept of lo in love. And you know, you know what you want. You know exactly what you want. And you are able to have it right now. You just decide. You just decide exactly what you want and you accept that that is the new you. Pile number two, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I loved to do this reading with you and I would love it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss future readings and I will see you in the next reading. Bye! Hey, pile number three, welcome to your reading. You chose this card number nine, Dakini of Infinite Light, as well as this clear crystal, the shape of a heart. Oops. All right. So I'm going to pull some oracle cards. We'll wake up the stick. Orphaned. This is card number five. And we'll also pull the 
Ooh, what an exotic card. Come to the edge. This is the spirit card for this deck. This is number 36. Come to the edge. All right, we're also going to take a few cards as oracle cards from this deck. And we want pile number, we want to have some messages for pile number three. We'll also take a spirit card for this deck. The Fool with Pan. With his Pan Pipes. All right, what are these two cards? Oh, wow, two of cups. This is the love card. This is the card that there's a love. There is a lover's card in the tarot deck, but this card is more of a love card, a romantic love card than even the lover's card. Nice card to get as one of your oracle cards. And the page of cups. Wow, you have very lovely cards for your... Um, your spirit, your uh, spirit cards, and your your or all your or oracle cards. You have the love, romantic love card. You have this page of cups, which is just unbridled passion and love, and just so much positivity and like, overflowing with love. Wow. So let's get into your reading. Pile number three. I'm gonna pull some cards. From this deck, well, I forgot. I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce your decks. I'm gonna pull some cards from this deck, and then I'm going to pull some clarifying cards from this deck. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. We have a question from pile number three about their self concept in love. The Justice card. The Four of Swords. Look at this little polar bear with their little bandage. <laughs> the Page of Pentacles. This is your second page here. Writing on a page. The Knight of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles balancing. And we have, whoops, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So let me just, give me a second. I'm just going to um, move these over and I'll be back in a sec. Wow, pile number three, you have such a beautiful self concept in love. You are so, you're so ready for love. You're so open and beautifully just balanced with your balanced. Yeah, balanced. I, you're balanced in your, your, your self-concept of love. You are really coming to, you are, I'm sorry, it's so amazing. I'm like having a hard time articulating it. You are full of joy and adventurous spirit, adve adventurous, like you have an adventurous spirit. You are so ready for and, and, and like able to love pile number three. You, this is you, this is you. You are the queen of pentacles. You are just completely stable and calm and loving and 
Why would this giant rabbit with w wings not want to hang out with you because you're so awesome? Pile number three. The Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Just so much passion. And the Knight of Cups. Like adventurous, passionate, loving. You know how to balance. It's like balance cards. Balance cards. Love card. The love card of the deck. You have this come to the edge. You have like there's an adventurous spirit in you that you're like, I am willing to put my whole heart out there in love. That's you, pile number two. Oh, sorry, pile number three. This is you, pile number three. Wow. I'm saying pile number two because there's so much duality in this um, reading, but it's not duality as in like being disconnected it's dualities and you you're just so balanced pile number three so this is the deck i had shown you uh before that we're going to pull some clarifying cards for this this is kind of a oh, i don't want to say one note in a bad way it's like this is like such a strong one note reading i'm wondering what these clarifying cards are going to tell us because We have this one, we have this one. Let's just take one more. All right, I'll put this over here. So for the Justice card, we have this, oh my God, Justice card. I'm telling you, pile number three, you are so balanced, you are so, you know what you want, pile number three. Four of Swords, we have the Page of Cups, your second Page of Cups. This Four of Swords is like resting when you need to. This, this Four of Swords and this Orphan card are kind of like resting when you need to. You're so wise, pile number three, that you are like resting when you need to and going uh, on your own when you need to to rejuvenate yourself. This is your, this is your second Page of Cups. So right here and right here. So let's see what your page of pentacles. Oh my gosh, your new beginning. Your your ace of pentacles. You are breaking your shell and coming out as the new you, pile number three. What do we have for this knight of cups? This is the hermit card. Another um, hermit card. This is another... Remember, I'm telling you that you know how to rest and go off on your own when you need to. This is just another example of like you're adventurous. You have an adventuresome spirit. But you are able to trust yourself now, pile number three. And you know that you can be adventurous when you need it. But when you need it, you also go off on your own and you are able to be alone and be happy and renew yourself, pile number three. Such an amazing reading. Two of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, you have the two of Cups. And do you see where it is? I'm kind of getting chills, pile number three. This is right underneath this Two of Cups. You have two Two of Cups, which is the Love card. The romantic love card. And you are so balanced with your self-concept of love. It's nuts. This is nuts, pile number three. Let's see. This last one, Queen of Pentacles, the six of wands. And pile number three, you are going to be... You and your lover, your romantic interest, are going to be public. If you're not... Okay, this is going to mean that you, pile number three, if you are already in a romantic relationship, your, your loved one, your, your, your specific person is going to be showing you off like crazy. If you're not in a relationship, your, your, the specific person that you want is going to be coming to you very soon publicly like making give making you 
making it known that they are interested in you. And if you, you're just, you are just in your power, pile number three. There is, like, you are, pile number three, on fire. There's no other way to say it. You are on fire with your self-concept in love. And you are approaching everything with balance, but also with a fresh, loving heart. Pile number three. And this is so amazing that this came right above and underneath each other like this, because this, I can't say it enough, this is the romantic love card, and you got two of them. Two of them. Pile number three. And they are accompanied by this two of pentacles, which is another balance card. You're balanced. You are, you know who you are. You know what you want. You are right there. Do you see these two, pile number three? Oops. Come to the edge and the fool. If you know the um, Rider Waite Smith tarot deck, the you know the classic tarot deck that people know. The fool card is this man who is happily traipsing along and about ready to fall over a cliff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you have, basically, you have two fool cards right next to each other. And that means that you are, and they're right underneath this Ace of Pentacles, New Beginning, which is right next to this Page of Pentacles. Just passion and love and adventurous spirit here. The Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, twice. You, you are just like, you are on fire, file number three. You are like ready for love and if you don't have love it is coming for you and if you want a renewal or like a re-sparking of your of your current relationship you are gonna have it with like like piling on piling on public displays of affection galore you are just on fire pile number three and there's like nothing else to say. This is so clear. It's so beautiful. This 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 reading is amazing and it's so beautiful. I can't even pile number three. Cannot get over this two two of cups. Both like there's two two of cups and they came right above and below each other. Pile number three. You are on fire. And I want to hear in the comments what the heck is going on with all of this energy that you have here. You just see yourself, envision yourself as this beautiful flame of sexiness and love. Okay? So pile number three, that is just basically, I just, there's nothing else to say. You are amazing. And... uh Yes, thank you for spending this time with me. I would love it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future readings. And thank you so much for spending this time with me. I will see you soon. Bye.